A scam, that's now that's getting the business or credit repair. A scam is when, number one, if they charging 2000 or more for some credit repair, something ain't right, y'all. I'm sorry to tell you, something ain't right, okay? That don't sound right to me. Number two, if you're doing any kind of business on Cash App, Venmo, Zelle, you can't go to the Nike store and send them a Zelle for some shoes, can you? Hell no. You can't Cash App them for some Jordans at the Nike store, okay? Like, think of it from that way, right? So, if they're using Cash App, Zelle, Venmo, red flag. Number three, if they say we can guarantee anything, it's illegal for us, for credit repair companies, to guarantee results, okay? I, we can't do it. Like, that's how you get shut down, right? That's how you get shut down instantly. So, we can't guarantee results. So, if you see an ad that say, oh, we guarantee results in 30 days, another red flag, right? Again, and then, we'll go back to the reviews, Right, if they got one or two reviews and they're good positive reviews like these right here, oh my gosh, they really helped us. They did their thing. Boom, boom. Okay, okay. Go to their uh website. What else they got on there? Okay, okay, that look good. Go to the Instagram. Oh man, wait, no, they ain't got not one testimonial, one review, something simple. Right? If they ain't got nothing like this. Not one. <laughs> not one. Something ain't right. Right? So when we talk about scamming and scams, 99% is your fault. Right? 99% is your fault. Okay? My little cousin got a hold of my uh, Amazon. He'd be playing Roblox or whatever the hell that is. Before he bought the, the Roblox card from the person he was buying it from, he in the reviews like this. He checking the dude's stuff. He got 4.9 stars. Okay. And he's seven. Little cousin checking the reviews <laughs> to not get scammed. It's common sense stuff. Like, <laughs> it's starting to get ridiculous out here. Okay, I don't know how people are still follow the same old tricks. It don't make no damn sense. All right, like, come on, man. All right, hold on. Where do I pull my credit score from to find an inaccuracy? That would... So, you want to use Identity IQ, Smart Credit. I like Identity IQ and Smart Credit because it's like this. See this right here? It's, it's all tri-merged, right? It's going to show you all your scores, all your accounts so you can go down and just find the inaccuracies across right okay. i got a personal loan 90 days ago when can i apply for a credit card thanks depending on how many accounts you have you can go apply for it today right you can apply for it today like yeah but what i would do though whoever they pulled from whoever you got that personal loan from you can see where the inquiry is right so if the inquiry is on on equifax go on google and say what credit card companies only pull from transunion I think say, what credit card companies only pull from Experian? So now you got that one inquiry with Equifax. Now you can go get your credit card that only pull from TransUnion. And then you can get you one that only pull from Experian. So boom, now it looks like in the last 90 days, you only got one inquiry all the way across. You know what I'm saying? My PinFed card was closed during COVID. Can I open up another one with them? Yeah, so if it was just closed, like you paid the account and the balance is just zero and it got closed, you can go open up an account with them. Now, if the account was closed due to non-payment or late payments or something like that, that's going to be a little bit more tough. You're going to have to call like resolution department pretty much, right? You can call them and tell them what happened, especially if it's during COVID. And this works for anything, you guys. So this, that's why this is a good question, man. This works for anything. Anything that happened from 2020 to today or 2020 to pretty much today, you can still kind of use the COVID stuff. Right, especially for those 2020 to 2022, you can still use the COVID stuff. So late payments, especially late payments, you can still use that. Like hardships or anything like that, you can use that stuff. Okay, but yeah, it just depends on how the account closed.